Hey y'all, so today it's time to start creating effects. I'm going to show you how to create a basic makeup and hair color effect so you can kind of familiarize yourself with the effect house features and the general creation process. This effect specifically focuses on using face effects and segmentation. That means you can use features in effect house to target specific areas of the face and hair. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we need to do is open Effect House and click Create Project. Click right there. Wait a bit. Okay, so now let's add some eyeshadow. We can do this by going to the Hierarchy panel, clicking the Add button, going to Face Effects, and then selecting the Eye Effect. This applies some pre-made eyeshadow that you can customize by playing around with its components quick refresher real quick real quick objects are simply pre-made containers for components components are features that actually make the effect and live in the inspector panel so these components themselves are made up of properties which are the specific settings that you can adjust and fine-tune to your liking since this eye effect object is essentially a two-dimensional face mask that gets applied to the eye region Let's just focus on the face mask component. Here, you'll see the face region property is already set to eyes and has a built-in eye shadow texture. A texture is just an image that's applied to make an object look a certain way. You can even create your own texture in a photo editing software and import it into Effect House to create customized effects, but we'll leave this as is for now. There's also this property called Witch Face. That tells Effect House which face to apply the effect to, if there are multiple people in the effect. I only have one person in the effect right now, so we can leave it alone. Now, of course, you can adjust the eyeshadow's opacity to your liking by using the slider. And you'll also see this thing called Blend Mode, which is a property that uses different mathematical calculations to determine how to blend color and texture. Basically, each one of these blend modes will make the eyeshadow look a little different, so you choose your preferred one. To change the color of the eyeshadow, you can check the Opacity Enable checkbox, and then choose your desired color from the color picker, or enter a specific hexadecimal color code. Now, last thing, this is really cool. It's called Detect Occlusion. This means that if there's anything blocking the face from view, like if you were to cover your face with your hands or something, then the makeup would also be covered and wouldn't render on top of the hands. I mean, how cool is that? Now, let's say I wanna add some lipstick. So I'll simply go to the hierarchy panel, add object, go to face effects, and then over here, select lip effect. You'll probably notice that these components look exactly the same as the eye effects components. Since the lipstick is also a two-dimensional face mask, the only difference is the face region property is set to lips. All of the properties work the same way. So all I have to do is adjust them to my liking. You can adjust the opacity, and over here, you can adjust the color. Um, let's make it red, but not too bright. How about that? Now next, we'll add some mascara by adding the eyelash effect object in the hierarchy panel and yep you guessed it all of the components are the same as before so you can play around with the properties to achieve your desired effect while we're at it why don't we change the eye color as well so we'll go to the hierarchy panel again and add eye color object you can see that this component is called eye color so it's not quite exactly the same as the face mask component but it pretty much works the same way you can choose if you want to apply color to just one eye or both eyes. You can change the opacity, the blend mode. You can even choose a different color. Let's change it from say green to a light blue instead. You can even enable the eye reflection component to make the eyes all sparkly and stuff. And of course you can enable detect occlusion. So the eye color doesn't render on top of anything that might cover the face. So now we have ourselves a full face of makeup. Pretty easy, right? Finally, let's change the hair color. To do that, we'll have to play around with a thing called segmentation, 
which isolates an area in the frame so you can apply customized features and effects to it. When you go to the hierarchy panel to add a segmentation object, you'll see that there are different types. Of course, the one we want is hair segmentation. You'll see that this applies a color to only the hair region. Like before, you can change any of these properties to your liking. I'm going to keep the blend mode set to soft light because that already looks really nice. And then I'll make the hair color purple because why not? And that's it. You're officially an effect creator now. You can really customize this any way you want by adjusting the component properties. I mean, sky's the limit. So get creative. We can't wait to see what you have to make. For more information on getting started, be sure to check out our documentation at effecthouse.tiktok.com.